guys and welcome to a brand new video my first one for 2019 um, this is also my first review of 2019 and to start with we will be taking a look at the brand new Safari Limited Wild Safari Woolly Rhinoceros now I got this um, a few weeks before Christmas but I didn't have time to uh, review it but now yeah as I've got plenty of time Let's get on with the video. So the woolly rhino, which scientific name is Celadonta antiquit antiquitatis, which means ancient hollow tooth, is a genus of prehistoric rhino that lived in the late Pleistocene epoch 500,000 to 10,000 years ago in what is now Europe and Asia. It was around 5 meters long, about 2.2 meters tall at the shoulders, and around two tons in weight, with the males being larger than the females. Now the woolly rhino is covered, as the name suggests, in a, in a big shaggy coat. It has short legs, small ears, a little stumpy tail, which are all suited for an ice age environment, which is of course where it lived. And the last um, woolly rhinos are thought to have lived in Siberia, where a lot of Actually, frozen carcasses of these creatures have been found, but we've learned a lot about what colour they were, what they ate, and all sorts. Very, very impressive what they can find in Siberia, in the permafrost. And this figure itself of um, Celadonta is really, really nice. Like The Safari really did their research on how to represent this guy in model form. They did an impeccable job of doing it. First things first, let's take a look at the head sculpt. The head sculpt is really, really nice. I love all of the beautiful um, fur that's been detailed, even the eye and the muzzle here with the snout. So you've got some skin there, and even the black nostril looks very wet, like it, like it would have been in life. We have the large nose horn here, and you can see this even little rings going around the horns, which I think are really, really cool. We've got a smaller one here, We've got the ears up at the top, looking very alert. On the other side, we've got another wet nostril, more of those nice um, circular striations around the, the horn. More of this beautiful fur detail. And as we go down, we've got more of this lovely fur detail that's been sculpted. It's sort of like a large shaggy patch here above the shoulders. We have the feet, which have been nicely sculpted with the large nails painted in a sort of grey colour. It's more of that large, that big hump of fur along the top there. And of course we have the little stumpy tail at the, at the back. Underneath we have more of the uh, same sculpted detail with of course Woolly Rhinoceros 2019 Safari. Some of the undersides of the feet have been done quite nicely well as well. You can see there. Now I know that some people do have complained that the coloration of the nose horn and the fur does sort of you know it's it's not as as good you know like I kind of like blends in with the with the fur I'm not actually too fussed I mean I like it for what it is I mean I like the sort of darker browns that sort of merge with the lighter browns even some sort of lightish gray in the fur as well make maybe it's like an older individual but I'm quite fond of this guy even if maybe the color scheme isn't suit anything spectacular but you know as this, this is probably based on some of these specimens found in the permafrost this is most probably what a woolly rhinoceros would have probably looked like but yeah i think this is a fantastic figure um definitely one to pick up for 2019 it's a shame that it's probably the only it is the only prehistoric mammal figure that safari are giving us this year considering last year we got over you know, half a dozen prehistoric mammal figures from Safari. But I think this is a nice addition to their prehistoric mammal range. I think it's a fantastic looking figure. And just to compare it quickly, here is the Papo Woolly Rhino figure. Now both, while they are of the same animal, are very different as you can see, with the Safari one being more scientifically accurate. But I think they display very well together. Maybe it's two bulls that have got together. They're, they're jostling over a female. But but yeah, 
I, I definitely am a big fan of this figure. I highly recommend you guys pick it up. You can pick it up from everything Dinosaur, Dan's Dinosaurs, pretty much anywhere where they sell Safari figures. So, um, I do hope you like this review, you know, my first of 2019. Please do like, comment, and subscribe. Um, my next review, I will be taking a look at the 2018 Schleich Triceratops, so take a look out for that very soon. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Please take care, and have a great day. Bye!